We appreciate it. Thank you. We're continuing that team coverage right now heading to Greenville where we track more flooding problems today. Water even forced a section of 385 to close for several hours. 7 News' Kelsey O'Donnell is standing by live with more information. Is it still closed, Kelsey? It is, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. Amy Grant, you're spot on with that forecast. It's still raining out here. We actually traveled across town. We were at 385 earlier. We're off of um, Poinsett Highway. This is Newland Avenue here in Greenville County. You can see several hundred people were without power, and this is one of those reasons these tree limbs had snapped off and actually fallen onto these power lines. But if you take a look at this video earlier today, crews were out here cleaning up. You can see the damage out here with the limbs all cut up now. Also, as you mentioned, Amy, across town, Interstate 385, a portion of that highway southbound near the Roper Mountain Road exit 37 on there. One lane was closed due to flooding. SCDOT had that lane blocked off. That has since been reopened, but all across the upstate, not just here in Greenville County, but there are several hundred people without power. Now back out here live, the power here has since been restored. Crews have gone back out and on to another uh, town to other outages here across the upstate, but we are continuing to monitor those outages and the weather here across the upstate. And we'll bring you the latest on air and online at WSPA.com. Live in Greenville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News.